Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I'm doing a, ah, a Wonder Woman look. Now funny enough, this is a series that I have been reading for about a year now. It's the new 52 Wonder Woman. But recently, the Wonder Woman movie actually came out and I haven't seen it just yet because we've been wanting to go but I have heard that it's amazing. It's a female director, which means that it is not overly sexualized. It's gonna be more just about strong women, and I love that. I hear there's even a part where she jumps and lands and her thighs jiggle. <sighs> Hollywood, let thighs jiggle. But I am really excited to do this look for you guys. Kind of what I want to do is pull old Wonder Woman and new Wonder Woman together. Now in the Wonder Woman movie she has the new tiara, the nice one that we're all starting to know and love and see. But I also really like the comic feel with all the lines on the face. So I'm going to try to combine both of those together to make an old and new Wonder Woman fuse together. So it's a lot of stuff so let's jump right in. The first thing I'm using is this Farsali Unicorn Essence. It's amazing. It makes my skin feel so soft and so supple and I've just been so addicted to it. I feel like it even gives me like a really pretty glow and luminosity. And then for foundation, I'm using the Photo Focus Foundation from Wet n Wild. I'm so impressed with this foundation. It has such amazing coverage and it's so stinking cheap. And then to do some color correcting, because y'all know I got some issues on my skin, I'm going to do orange to cover up any dark spots, and then I'm going to do green to cover up any redness. Then we're just going to go ahead and blend all of that out. For my brows, I'm using the Zip Brow Pomade from Anastasia in Chocolate and Soft Brown. It's just the perfect color combo because it ombres just like my hair does. And then to clean it all up, I'm going to use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. It's just the perfect consistency for being able to clean up under the brows. And then for primer, I'm going to use the I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base from Essence. It's amazing. I think it's a dupe for the Urban Decay um, Eden. And then I'm going to set that with some translucent powder for makeup forever just so that it's a lot easier for all of my eyeshadows to blend. Next I'm gonna go ahead and use some tape to be able to have those clean edges on my shadow. This is something that I don't recommend someone do on a client but it's perfectly normal to do on yourself. Honestly I know some people hate on it but I have no problem with it as long as you remove the tackiness. And then I'm going to go in with the Morphe 35O palette and I'm going to use this like peachy golden shade as my first transition shade. And you guys already know I love that wet and wild brush. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit more of a chocolate brown. I'm going to apply the color and then using a clean blending brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend that all out. And then finally using that dark chocolate color, I'm going to go ahead and add that in the outer corner and again blend it more with that clean brush. And then I'm gonna use the Tonic Shadow Elixir and Gold Metal. This is just a very pretty metallic true gold. And then after I apply this to my lid and kind of making that very sharp, I'm gonna add some more of that dark brown shade in the outer corner. And then next, I'm gonna use my favorite, the New York Color Black Liquid Liner. Make sure you get the blackest black. I bought pearlized black the other day on accident and it sucked. And then after drawing my cat eye, I'm going to accentuate that cut crease with a black line just to help with the cartoon feel and then I'm going to apply some mascara. For concealer, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in Medium Tawny. This is a very like moussey concealer, but I really love it. It has a really, really amazing coverage. And then after that, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in Where's Walnut. And that's just going to help our contour look much more natural. And it's really going to help define our face more. And also, if you're taking pictures with flash, this helps your contour to not get washed out. And then to be able to set all this, we're going to use the Morphe Translucent Powder, which has been my new addiction. Make sure to only use a little bit so that your skin doesn't, use, doesn't look very dry. But honestly, I'm so obsessed with this powder. It's amazing for baking and my skin always looks flawless afterwards. 
and then I'm gonna use the white liquid liner from NYX to go ahead and accentuate that inner corner and it's gonna make our eye look a little bigger and more cartoonish and then I'm gonna go ahead and line that with the black liner and then again to go ahead and make our eyes look bigger I'm gonna use the jumbo eye pencil and milk from NYX and then darken the edges to again have that cartoonish contrast Using the Morphe 9BZ palette, I'm going to use this lighter bronzer shade because we already have bronzer underneath, so I don't want it too crazy. And I'm going to go ahead and bronze and contour up my face. I love this palette so much. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed with it, guys. And then for blush, I'm going to use the Morphe 9N blush palette, and I'm going to use this very pretty cool tone pink. And then for a highlight, I'm going to use the Laura Geller Illuminator and Gilded Honey. Now, Wonder Woman is from Themyscira, which is a very Amazonian and tropical place. So she always has a very, very bronzed glow. And that's what I wanted to achieve with this highlighter. And then we're going to go ahead and bake because we want our edges to be very sharp, very, very cartoonish. And then for lashes, I'm wearing the Dodo Mink Lashes in D106. Excuse the awful picture, I forgot to take a picture of them. And then for lips, I'm going to use the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Beso, which is basically just the perfect, perfect red. Now to make sure that all of this mixes well together and sets for the whole day, I'm applying some MAC Fix Plus so it still looks very skin-like. And then mixing some Tarte Maracuya Oil with the special effects colors from NYX, I'm just going to put one drop of that and now I'm going to start contouring my face. And I'm just using the brush that comes with the Tartiest Liner from Tarte. And basically what you want to do is draw a black line anywhere that there's a contour on your skin. So the corners of your lips, your cheekbones, underneath your jawline, things like that. And then I'm using a pencil brush to go ahead and blend that in with the red. Now we're going to accentuate all of the high points on the face using the white liner from NYX. I do like this liner, but it does crumble quite a bit, so I'm not super fond of that. And then I'm going to use the dotting tool from Essence to go ahead and add some dots around the lips as well. And then I'm going to start sketching out her tiara. Now that second line on the right is the line that made my whole tiara crooked and I did not notice until the very end. So I do suggest that when you're doing this at home, absolutely make sure that your lines are straight. And then don't worry about the lines being too perfect because honestly we're about to go over this with a gold face paint and we're going to have to redraw all of these black lines anyway. So this is really just kind of a rough draft. Just mapping out where the lines need to be. I really quickly wanted to mention a huge thank you to Nikki Tutorials especially, whose Wonder Woman tutorial really helped out with the eye makeup especially and helped me get along with the lip makeup, along with all the other tutorials I found and pictures on Pinterest and YouTube. Unfortunately, in the actual comics, Wonder Woman is rarely wearing makeup except for sometimes red lips, which is really just supposed to be the color of her natural lips. So all of those tutorials really helped me out. Now you're just going to go ahead and fill in the whole tiara using the Mayron Color Cup in gold, which we're going to skip ahead of because it takes a long time. 
and then to add the bronziness to it because her tiara is a little more bronze than gold now we're using that same special effects cream color from NYX but in the brown shade so we're gonna blend that into the gold to make it look a little more three-dimensional and more bronzed Now that we're finishing up with the bronze and you just want to blend that in, I'm going to use the white liquid liner to do the same thing but with the high points. Even though it's cartoonish, you still want it to be three dimensional. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I hope that you guys really enjoyed it. This is definitely a really fun process for me because I really love Wonder Woman. Um, if there were any few things I would like to change, uh, one of them would be I actually wouldn't have added oil into uh, the NYX special effects colors mainly because it did make it a lot harder to set everything without smearing everything around. And also if I had more time, I would have liked to embrace more of her chest piece and probably cartooning up my cleavage, things like that. But unfortunately, my camera has died twice. I've been overheating for like three times and already this entire process has taken over three hours. So that's, you know, that's good. Let's let's call it a day. I did glam up the look a little bit more with like my armor ring and the armor earrings and like my flowy kind of blondish hair mixed in with her dark hair. Um, I mainly did that because A, I didn't have a lot of her actual costume pieces and B, she is a princess. She is Princess Diana of Paradise Island. So I was like, I'm sure she won't mind these little bits of glamour mixed in with her tiara and her armor armor already. So again, I really hope that you guys liked all this. I love this look. I think that if I ever go to Comic Con or something like that, I will definitely be rocking something like this. It was a lot of fun. It was my first time doing cartoon and I think that for my first time I didn't do too bad. So I really hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!